Madagascar, sometimes referred to as the Eighth Continent, lies off the coast of East Africa. With its eons-old separation from continental Africa, Madagascar boasts a biosphere like no other. 90% of its plant species are endemic, exemplified by lush rainforests, prehistoric spiny forests, where all the trees have cactus-like thorns, and the awesome spectacle of giant baobab trees. Avenue of the Baobabs has been used by local people for generations, and it's only one of Madagascar's otherworldly landscapes. The fauna that inhabits these dynamic ecosystems is equally diverse. Lemurs are found nowhere else in the world, and these visually intriguing primates are extremely approachable and photogenic. We found and photographed 15 species, including the pygmy mouse lemur, the world's smallest primate. The insect world is well represented, presenting countless opportunities for macro photography. There are flying foxes, fruit bats that are active during the day, so the photographic challenge is to capture them in flight. Although not considered a birder's paradise, there are many beautiful endemic species to see in photograph. Mollusks, amphibians, and reptiles are everywhere. Madagascar's endemic chameleons come in a wide variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. On our exploration of Madagascar, we use luxury buses or powerful four-wheel drives that give us access to prime areas for photography. Hiking into Madagascar's national parks is the best way to get an eye-level view of the wildlife. Isalo National Park consists of a series of cliffs and valleys that are home to all kinds of intriguing subjects. Here's a foot-long walking stick and a multicolored grasshopper that were just two of many species we saw on our hikes. Here's a skink that just caught his breakfast. And a chocolate brown spider that waits patiently for his. After our nature hikes, we return to the lodge to relax. Our next destination was Montadia National Park, whose forests are home to the huge Indri Indri. These handsome lemurs feed in the forest canopy and move from tree to tree using athletic leaps of up to 40 feet. They share the forest with comical black and white ruffed lemurs, cute gray bamboo lemurs, friendly red-fronted brown lemurs, and the stunning diadem sifaka. The tiny giraffe beetle, my favorite insect in the world, is only found here. After a morning of exploring this photographically rich area, we return to the Vacona Lodge. Located in the middle of this rich ecosystem, it's a perfect home base from which to launch our photographic expeditions. A few minutes drive from the National Park, the lodge offers us easy access to the stunning array of wildlife that Madagascar has to offer. This beautiful and powerful Madagascar ground boa posed for dramatic portraits.
From this tiny jewel of a chameleon to the gigantic Parsons chameleon, one of our photographic challenges was to capture the lightning fast action when the foot long tongue shoots out and grabs a grasshopper for its meal. Night walks around the lodges offer views of spectacular nocturnal species of frogs, butterflies, and chameleons. Next stop, Berenti, an arid region of dry forest, sisal plantations, spiny forest, and lots of wildlife. There are many lemur species in the area, including these ring-tailed lemurs and the gray mouse lemur. But my favorite is the dancing safaka. Every morning they move from the gallery forest to low fruit trees where they spend the day feeding. The photographic goal is to capture them as they move from the forest and dance across the red sand. Slow motion is nice, but catching up to them in real time is a tough challenge. If you're worried that they may be shy or difficult to see, this is the path to my bungalow. Here are some of the photos taken of the beautiful wildlife and the stunning landscapes on this journey to Madagascar. Thank you for joining us on this Madagascar adventure.